Across three Georgian townhouses in London's Portman Square, Home House offers a dramatic fusion of the past and the present, its community enjoying the elegance of the building's early grandeur and the influence too of the latest cutting-edge interior design. The Countess of Home who commissioned the house back in 1773, she was twice widowed, extremely rich, wanted to have some fun, so she put her money to good use and, and had this house built, or house number 20. And it was built for that purpose, socialising, inviting uh, her London glitterati friends and royalty. And all we're doing today is um, using the house for exactly the purpose that she had it built for. And hopefully, we'll uh, make her very proud. Home House is a members club that goes beyond your traditional members club. Uh, and the key element here is it's about fun. There's no stuffiness, there's no formality. Everybody respects one another, um, staff and members alike. And I think that real home from home feel is the real differentiator. And you've got the Georgian splendour here of the Robert Adam interior. And I think when they come through the door, they're firstly wowed by the decor, um, and then they're wowed by everything that's on offer here. It is open to business and social customers alike, and the place is used in exactly that same way. There's no fixed demographic here. Um, eclecticism really, really does work for home house, and that's exactly what it's all about. It's a real mixed melting pot. Home House is a success story in London's flourishing market of members clubs. Launched in 1999, its diverse membership has grown to over 4,400, mostly on recommendation, justifying the acquisition of a further adjoining property. A retreat in the heart of the capital, its offering includes sumptuous lounges, 21 guest bedrooms, a garden and a gym. The management team's focus on injecting more life into the club consistent with its hedonistic origins. We have these absolutely wild and wonderful parties uh, four times a year, which are, are the talk of the town. I mean, it's. Um, it really is a feast for the eyes when you see how much effort people make to, to dress up and, and enjoy themselves. And that's been quite, I think, the bedrock of a lot of our success because there's one thing that people will always talk about is a, is a, is a good party. It's a very, very busy operation. We can, we can have any, anything up to seven, 700 people in the business at one time. So lots of faces to recognise and remember and, um, and that, that's, that's a vital part of, our, of being a private members club. We really, really try and get the right, the right team in place to, to look after our members. And they are, you know, fun, engaging, cool people that, that really enjoy what they do and, and, and live and breathe hospitality. And really just, just, just engage with, with, our, with our membership and make sure that, that every, it's, a, it's a really safe place to come and enjoy yourself and, and you know that you're going to get a great, great experience here every time you come. Home House believes its members value not only the privacy the venue gives them, but also the opportunity to broaden their horizons socially through the club's monthly diary of societies and events. With four bars, a nightclub open until 5am, it's perhaps no wonder that Home House examines how the business is faring from the amount of champagne it sells. Over 25,000 bottles of champagne a year through its partnership with a leading champagne brand. What's impressive about Home House and how they operate is really their, their ability to react and to continuously innovate and to not remain complacent. Um, they've put a lot of pressure on us as well to always be creative and come up with new solutions and ideas and new product offerings for their consumers. Refreshing its menus frequently is key across the club's six dining options too, with members assured of the ingredients used in its kitchens. As it eyes further expansion within the capital and overseas, Homehouse's success in a highly competitive market shows the appeal of a confident luxury brand in a tough economic time, possibly even because of it. When the chips are down, you have one or two very distinct and stark options as far as your costs are concerned, and you look at what it is that you really want to cut back on and what's going to return you value. And I think the members clubs really do offer value. 
there's a chance to socialise, network with people that you wouldn't do in a normal situation. Um, and you have the opportunity to develop relationships above and beyond just a normal business environment and a normal social environment. In today's modern world, people are moving from country to country all the time. The best way to get introduced and meet like-minded people is to select the right member club, integrate within that community, um, and it's the perfect place to network and enjoy the luxury that you, you can afford. We are constantly looking at every area. Does it return maximum value to our members? Does it return maximum value to potential members? And are we current and relevant in the marketplace at the moment? We're really successful because we enjoy what we do and we make sure that the people around us enjoy what they do, making the environment fun. It's got to be fun.